Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up the failsafe on the FlySky receiver. These are some of the best receivers I've had. They're very cheap. They're about $6 on eBay each if you buy them in bulk. And the best thing about them is not only the price, but they also include a built-in failsafe. Now, if you're running a Nitro like I am here, this is my Traxxas Nitro Rustler 2.5, you need to make sure that you have your failsafe built in. Now, what that does is in the event that you lose radio signal or power or anything, any kind of signal loss of any kind, your throttle server will apply the brake. Now, let me just demonstrate currently the way the system is set up right now. So let me turn on the remote and the RC itself. So everything is fine. This is the neutral position for the servo. I could apply gas, I could apply brake. But once I turn off the remote, watch this. It is automatically set to go to max throttle. That is the opposite of what I want. So this failsafe is currently applying throttle. I want it to apply brakes. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is just activate both the RC itself and the remote. The remote is on. And now my car is on. I am uh, back to normal, regular throttle position, neutral. What you need to do is first, and this is gonna be kind of a down and dirty way, you need to apply the position that you want your remote to, to automatically apply in the event of a uh, signal loss. So I need the brake, that's why I have the server band right here, holding the brake in fully. Next thing you need is take your bind plug this was included, and you will simply just press the button here on the receiver itself. It will blink, and then the system will automatically uh, create its own failsafe to automatically apply brakes. Here we go. It's blinking, and it's done. At this point, that was it. You could just turn off your remote, turn off the car, take off the rubber band, and activate the system normally. Okay, so it turned out normally. We are still at neutral. And now when I turn off the remote, you will observe that the system will apply the brakes. There we go. So now I have full brake. The car cannot be a runaway. And that is what you're trying to prevent here. Especially when you have uh, various signals or signal loss, you want your car to automatically apply brake. Now this system also works for uh, channel one in case you wanted to uh, change up the steering to apply some kind of turn or whatever you wanted, whatever channel you have, it will work. Here I was working with channel two, that is my throttle servo. There it is guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to take advantage of this fantastic feature.